Hi, welcome back. I thought this would be a good time to go over the most common questions about sleep. I get thousands of letters from parents and certain topics keep popping up, so I figured we'd talk about a few of them. Many people want to know what to start working on first, night sleep or naps? In almost all cases, the answer is do both. There are many things you can do that improve both night sleep and naps. All the sleep solutions are like puzzle pieces and they work together on the entire day-night sleep routine. So you'll have a lot of crossover that you don't even realize benefits both night sleep and naps. Many people ask about what to do with an early bird. Only about 10% of babies are true early birds. Most babies wake up early because of outside reasons that can be changed. Let's talk about a few. Lights can wake your baby up. Daylight, street lights, or house lights creeping in under the door. The solution is to cover the windows, use a door sweep, and keep the room dark until you're ready to start the day. It's a very rare baby who can be put into bed wide awake and then fall asleep alone. Actually, it's a very rare toddler or preschooler who can be put into bed wide awake and then fall asleep peacefully alone. The vast majority of children need some help from a parent to calm down and relax enough to be able to sleep. Don't feel there is anything wrong with you or your baby if your little one needs some help getting settled for sleep. That's what a good bedtime routine is all about. And a bedtime routine is a chance for a very special, beautiful, wonderful bonding time. Babies are little for such a short time. Try to savor every moment, including that bedtime routine. Read over the next chapter, and I'll see you next time.